hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here please do me a favor subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell icon so you will never miss any important video okay recently as did i noticed i'm doing a video editing series and i'm trying a new app today and i'm going to show you how to edit it using this app the app name is vn editor vn is short for vlog now so it's basically for youtubers and video creators so the app has the app has a lot of features under the box and it's free to use most of it is free to use and the amazing part about it is you can export your video without any watermark so this is one of the cool features i like about it so once you open the app it will show you all the projects you've been working on these are all the videos i've edited using this app I've, put, I've posted most of them on my YouTube channel and it's a really cool app. So first things first, if you want to start, I urge you to click on this settings gear icon to configure the app. So the exporting settings, I like to set mine to export at 720 pixels and at a frame rate of 30, 30 frames per second. Then I leave the byte rate at, at the default, you can choose to export the original size but this will export if you're doing it for a youtube video it will export in a higher ratio than you need so i tend to leave it like this so this field size i set it to fill so it will end so it will cover the entire workspace and uh, if you delete any of your videos it will be on this so this is the app about vn editor it's a really cool app so after you're done with this setting to begin editing your video you just click on this plus icon from here you can watch tutorials on their youtube channel okay, so the next thing i'll do i'll just click on this plus icon and i'll select new projects so from here you can select all the videos you want to edit if you're doing it for a youtube video you just select all your clips you can select multiple clips at the same time so this is it and you can also select images as well if you already have a video template you can use that you can create one but i'm not going to do that for now so you just click on select or and select all the clips you want i'm not going to do anything fancy here i'll do another series where i show you how i edit my youtube video season vn editor so after selecting all the clips you just click on this next this plus arrow icon and you wait for it to load in your workspace okay so this is all the clips you can similarly you can pinch to expand or reduce you can drag to expand or reduce the length of the video so if you want to another cool feature i like about this app is it lets you place videos on top you can place another video on top of another you can place another video on the video you're working on and you can also do the green screen effect which is one of the cool feature i like about it so a walkthrough of this this plus this music plus icon is used to import clips into your workspace so you just click on it and you add you can choose to record and choose to record your own clips and do a voiceover or you select an effect they already have some effects but you can import from your music library as well then you can choose to add music from your device so you just scroll and select the clip you want to use for youtube videos it's not all audios that are permitted so you have to select a one that is permitted by youtube i'll put the link to download copyright free images in the description section of this video so this is a description uh, audio files you can use without getting a copyright strike 
so let's say you import your video it will show here and you can add multiple videos as well multiple audio sorry okay next you can add in text text file on top of your video and you can just say let's say subscribe subscribe now something like that and you change the color to red okay let's use a white and use a red background so it looks more like a subscribe button so this is used to this is used to urge people to subscribe to your channel you can drag in and reduce the opacity to make it blending you can select from this color or also you can add in shadows if you select the stroke effect it will have a border around the text so you can use this to select the fonts so these are the fonts that comes pre-installed with vn editor so you can add your own fonts as well So um, let's, this is the duration of the audio, you can extend it throughout the video. So next up you can add in a video or an audio. Let's say I want to place this. Um, Let's say I want to place this as into my video. So you just wait for it to load. It will take a little bit of time. Okay, this is it. And another cool feature I like about this, you can use If you want to move it, you can just long press and okay. You can use this chroma key effect to remove any color of background you want. So this is a really cool feature I like about this app. So you place your videos there. A more practical use case of this is when you want to add, if you have a constant template of like a subscribe button, you can import it and use the green screen to remove the chroma key effect to remove the green screen. So let's say you want to add a subscribe button to your video, you can just use this green screen and select the, use the color picker to select the green color and it will remove the color. So next up you can use this volume to increase the volume, you can also speed it up so this has a lot of speed you can add so i'll use it you can use the normal one and you just click on next so similarly you can use this image plus icon to import images as well then when editing your video you can speed it up Also, they have this cool transition feature that you can use to transition your videos. For the most part, you'll be using this black screen to just do a fading. Then if you want to quickly move to the next clip, you just click on this next. Let's add in, there are other transitions you can use. So similarly, you can just use this fade and click on next. And you can use this to apply the fade to all. So you just select one clip, one transition, and use it for all your videos. But you can manually override it by adding the one into the next one. So that's just about it. You have these really cool filters you can use. But most times you just use this adjust to increase the video quality 
so if your video didn't if your video wasn't recorded in a more colorful environment so you can use this adjust feature to fine tune your video so this is really cool and you can, it's free to use so this app the most why i like this app is because it's free to use and it has a lot of features right out of the box and the most important part is there is no watermark when exporting your video so after you're done with this just click on this export and you wait for your videos to export so it may take a lot of time you just have to be patient and wait for it to export so now the video is exporting and it will be done when it's at 100 percent so this is just a quick walkthrough of the vn editor with all its features in my next video i will show you how i edit my video my youtube videos using this vn editor app it's a really cool app and i urge you to download it if you can i'll put a link to download it in the description section of this video the app is available for both ios and android users so the vn editor app is a really cool app for youtubers to start with and it's free to use this is one of the best app the best free apps let's say it's by far the best free app i've used in terms of video editing so it has a lot of feature and all are free to use so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching and i will see you in the next